Welcome. Start by going to File. Under Project Settings. Change the Aspect Ratio to 1 to 1. Afterward go to Stock Media to drag down a color, crop to fit, and apply Rectangular Mask as shown with Adjustment. Drag the yellow nodes a bit to make a curvy corner. Also scroll down to invert mask to make a frame. Not necessary but you may add a text to the frame as shown. I adjusted the frame a little bit. Take a snapshot and make sure it is PNG not JPG, because the JPG won't be transparent. Delete everything on the timeline and change the project settings back to 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Drag down a picture background, crop to fit and apply pan and zoom in 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Add many more tracks. Now drag down the frame snapshot on track 3 right above track 2. Move a playhead to 1 second or 5 frames forward. Now only apply keyframe for scale by typing 80, but in other two for the frame to be on the left side of the screen go to position X and type minus 751 and position Y minus 62 and also change rotation to minus 10. Now move playhead back and scale down to zero. Further apply shadow as shown. So if you click the second keyframe you will notice that the frame scale is 80. So the square picture that I am dragging down will be scaled to 75 to fit in the frame and also the same position dimension and rotation will be applied. Now move playhead 3 frames forward and apply the same dimension used for the frame above except the scale which will be 75. Move playhead back and change just change the scale back to zero. Apply pan and zoom in preview. Scroll up and drag down another frame snapshot on track 5 right above track 4. Move a playhead to 1 second or 5 frames forward. Now apply keyframe to scale to 80. But to move the frame to the right, 
Change position X to 751 and position Y to minus 62 and change rotation as well to 10. Further, move playhead back to scale down to zero and apply shadow as shown above. back the playhead to the second keyframe and drag down a square picture below. Click the second keyframe of the frame in other to use the same dimension for the picture as well except that I will scale the picture to 75 to fit in the frame. Now move the playhead three frames forward. Also apply keyframe to the scale the picture to 75 in other to fit the frame and use the same dimensions in position and rotation as used in the frame earlier also as shown on the screen. Move playhead back and change just change the scale back to zero. Apply pan and zoom in preview. Also add more tracks and further drag down another frame snapshot on track 7 right above track 6. Move a playhead to 1 second or 5 frames forward. Since this frame will be centralized, I only apply keyframe to scale down to 90. Further, move playhead back to scale down to 0 and apply shadow as shown above. Move back the playhead to the second keyframe and drag down a square picture below. Because the size of the frame is 90, I have to reduce the square picture to 85 to fit in the frame, so move the playhead 3 frame forward. Now move the playhead back to scale down to 0 and further apply pan and zoom accordingly. So I added a dreamy overlay effect. I also noticed that two frames have the same picture, so I press and hold the Alt key and drag down a different picture to replace the picture in the send frame above and everything was intact. So thanks for watching, you are awesome.